Hi guys. Today we're going to learn some more multiplication properties for exponents. Remember, we already wrote these down in our secret compartments that we made during class. So these videos are really showing you how to use the rules that we wrote down during class. For today's first rule, we're going to look at what's called a power to a power. So here I have x to the fourth to the third. Now what that means is that I have x to the fourth three times. So if we wanted to write it out, it would look like this. And if we wanted to write it out even more, which I'm not going to do, uh, we could write out four x's, four x's, and another four x's. Uh, luckily yesterday, we learned what to do when we have the same base in a multiplication problem. And what we learned was we were supposed to add the numbers together. So four plus four is eight and eight plus four is 12. But now there is a quicker way that we can get to the answer. So I want you to think about that for a second. What's a quicker way to get from x to the fourth to the third into x to the 12th? And the answer is that we could just multiply the exponents together. So make sure you write down that blue sentence. That's the most important thing about this video. When raising a power to a power, you're going to multiply the exponents. And here it is written as a generic rule. So a to the m to the n is a to the m times n. And if I wanted to replace the very longly written out problem, I could replace it with just four times three. Okay, so this is our first rule for today. Here are two examples of how to use this rule. Notice that directions say, what is the simplified form of this problem? That means I want you to simplify as much as humanly possible. For the first problem, we're going to do 4 times 7, which is 28. Now, as far as your homework is concerned, I don't really need to see the 4 times 7 part. I'm okay with you jumping straight from the question to the answer. For the second problem, we are going to multiply the fractions 2 over 3 times 1 over 2. When multiplying fractions, you can either multiply straight across top numbers together and bottom numbers together, or you can cross cancel. If I cross cancel, I'll be left with an exponent of 1 over 3. And that's it. I don't know. I don't have anything else that I can do with that. So sometimes the exponents will be fractions, and that's okay. We're just going to have to live with it. So x to the 1 third. Before we end this video, I'd like you to pause and try these five problems on your own. When you're done, unpause the video and we'll check your answers. Okay, hopefully you already wrote down your answers now. These were kind of grouped together in a way to help you answer question number five. So questions one and two both have the same answer, which is p to the 20th. And questions three and four also both have the same answer, which is p to the 1 8th. Based on this information, we should be able to tell that question five is always true. Because basically what's happening is we're switching the order of the multiplication problem and order doesn't matter in multiplying. So it's okay to do M times N or N times M. That's called the commutative property. This concludes our first video.